Alrighty, what's cracking YouTube? Maddie here. Today's uh, channel update is brought to you by Mild to Wild. Let's get straight into it, shall we? Project Hypercast 2.0 has uh, got even more beefcake. Decided to go full over the top with my daughter's uh, buggy here. Well, it was a buggy. I don't think you'd call it a buggy anymore. Maybe you would, maybe you wouldn't. Who knows? The uh, biggest change we've done are the uh, Proline 38 Badlands all round. I was rocking the uh, MX28 Badlands strapped on her buggy, but uh, we've decided to go bigger and badder and more beefcake. Now, funny I should mention these Proline Badlands rubber because at the moment, at Mild to Wild, they actually got a 100 sets, no, 50 sets. 100 pairs of these guys in stock. Now, I talked to them yesterday. I was talking to Joe. They're already down to 90 um, pairs. So they've only got 45 sets left, complete sets left. And on that subject, well, we thought to help you guys out a bit, um, if you go on their website now between... Today's date the 12th and the 26th. Now, this is for Australia, guys. Um, I don't believe they post internationally, so it's going to be a domestic thing. But anyway, if you go on their website and you want to buy these wheels and tyres, you can put in the code RCA5OFF and you will receive 5% off your Proline Badlands 3.8s as a little present from us to you guys. So... Get in because they do go insanely quick. These these just sell out. So we um, so mild to wilds obviously cleared the supplier out or taken a massive chunk off them. The sets they've got, which is awesome. It's very handy for me. Um, I love a good tire selection, and mild to wild certainly bring a nice little tire selection out. And um, yeah, they've got. They got quite a lot of Proline options there, from 12 mil hex, 17 mil hex, even your bigger X Maxes and stuff. They've got rubber for it in Proline. Right, so enough on that. We'll get back to the hypercast. We fitted the BSR Berserker shocks and armor springs from the V3 Typhon, but I'm gonna dig out my uh, Outcast V1 Outcast springs and put them on because they're a bit longer. These are four mil shaft. I wasn't fussed with them on my outcast, so I put the hobo shocks back on the outcast and these weren't doing anything. So I was like, four mil shaft, she can have them. I also fitted Hyper SS towers, which are a good mil thicker all round. And she's still just a BLX combo in there. This Tower Pro Servo has actually lasted three bashes. So that's two bashes more than I thought it would. So I'm quite happy there. Um, I do have my receiver down here. That's completely waterproofed, if anyone was ever wondering on that. That is um, plasti-dipped. What I did is I put four... There were four ports, so I put four receiver extension cables in, and then I just plasti-dipped the crap out of it. And then I plug in the ones that are taped up and aren't being used. But that whole unit's waterproof. I can run this in mud and in water and that and not have to... It's never glitched out on me, so I'm happy there. Right, so Hypercast, the 4S fresh pack is charged. Just waiting for it to get a bit drier, and we're going to go out and uh, hone the crap out of this one. What else are we going to be playing with? Alrighty, so Outcast is back. We're going back to the uh, green proline body here um, because the HPI charger body is um well she's munted she's uh, definitely not liking what i did to it it actually hit lvc the other day and it looked a little something like this
All righty, yes. So enough on that. That sort of sucked. This RPM bumper certainly uh, helped me out there. So this guy is ready, ready to go again. Um, my diff out drives at the front are munted. Look at it down in there. They're munted. Rich, you're going to just cringe looking at that. Um, I've been popping, popping these guys out lately, everyone. So I've bent, I've tried to straighten this shaft. What had actually happened is the uh, pillow ball joints had backed out ever so slightly. Not, not enough that I could see it, not enough that I picked up on it on a visual look, but enough that I got another turn, turn in a bit and significantly brought that drive shaft back into the cup there. So I'm glad I found that. So we're ready to go. While I've got it here, this... Uh, M3 skid plate, like it's getting scratched up. I don't like looking at it because I've scratched up, but honestly, it's taking it really well. Like it's not gouging like the deck did. Um, these things look amazing, brand new. M3 on Facebook, guys. M3 Custom RC Parts Germany. Um, you'll find him this he just wow this thing is amazing now i've also got it backed in here with the m3 big pinion motor mount and i can go it's larger than the 34 tooth i think it was nearly it was like 36 or 38 tooth it might have been 40 it's a big you can pit it fit an insanely big pinion on your motor with the m3 and this front diff brace in there, just awesome. I've got the same front diff brace in my Typhon. I'll never look back over those plastic ones I had in there. I can't believe I sort of persisted with them for so long. Um, the Voltage Hobbies servo mount and clamps have been in there for a very long time now and just insane. You, you, I can't fault it. Same with my Mark Hall goodies. This upper carbon fiber chassis brace. This whole package is so stiff now. I'm um, I'm very happy with what this carbon fiber's done up here. Now, given it's carbon fiber, it will get a little bit of flex. So if things get too insane, it's gonna just a pinch flex rather than bend. Um, I'm yeah, it's awesome. I will say it's probably not suited for a beginner user, because as you can see, if I want to work on anything in here, I have to remove it, and you've got to remove a few pieces. And like how I've got my button glued up there and that, it does become a bit annoying at times working around it. Um, one thing I will say, just a little handy hint here, you can probably see, you see that, how I haven't cut that tab off and I've just folded it back around. Why would I do that? Well, you can actually feed the end of the cable tie back into the cable tie and pop the tab there. So I just keep reusing these big cable ties to hold my ASCs down. Rather than snip it off, it looks tidy and then, ah, uh, I need to work on my vehicle again. I need to take the ASC out, cut it. These big cable ties are expensive. So a mate of mine, Jono, actually showed me there's a little tab in there, and if you pinch that little tab, it will let the tie out, pull it back. You're not you're not going and throwing money down the toilet on these expensive, thick cable ties. Uh, the thicker, the better for the cable ties. Right. Um, look, that's that's probably going to be enough on the outcast. The hobo shocks are back on, four mil shaft, and the BSR Berserker springs are on those shocks. And we're going to finish this off now with... Crawlers. Right, so we'll finish with these two crawlers today. SCX 10 hard body had uh, all its electronics gutted out, uh, cheaper electronics fitted. I've attempted my best at waterproofing, and um, I'm going to go put it in the creek and see what happens, to be quite honest. So I use marine grease and liquid electric um, tape. To do the servo, liquid electrical tape all over the receiver in there. Uh, there's an old 2S battery, which I don't care about. See, I've even wrote on it, lazy cell. It's a naughty battery. I've 
put a what is it? Hobbywing 1060 ESC in there, and there's an axial 35 turn motor up in there. So, gonna go sync it. See what happens. I'm actually quite excited to do that. I've been bored with this thing. It's just uh, it's mediocre. This, on the other hand, is not mediocre. Viterra Sender. So I went out again on this weekend to crawl it. And I did for about three hours, but I didn't film anything. I was just really just enjoying myself. Now, whether it was hard throttle, soft throttle, full crawl, nothing was getting hot. I was very impressed with that. Um, had a really good run out. Now, 850 MAH 6S was what I was running. Packed out my first pair because I'm... Yeah, I'm running two 3Ss as one 6S. So packed out two and a half hours in. Now that's not all crawling or driving. So I'm going to give you probably hour 45. I reckon it was probably closer to two hours. But I'll say an hour 45 to be conservative there on 850 MAH trailing. So I'm very impressed with that. Given the uh, dramatic weight reduction running two of these little babies do i'm now messing around with the uh, layouts so i am on the longest wheelbase setting but i do run the servo that way so some of you might why would he do that now if i push it all the way down i will get to a point let me get into here i hit the are you gonna see that i hit the servo bar it's literally only the tiniest amount. That's all I'm stopping. I've removed the bump stops from my shocks and literally that amount, that is my bump stop. It'll come down, it'll just go to there. It's even and it's it's working for me. I don't need that little bit extra and I prefer to have that weight centralized at the nose rather than offset. So that's just me personally. Um, how do you guys run your Viterra servos? I'm interested to know. Does anybody else run the longer wheelbase and the servo laid out like this? Or is everyone like, Matty, you're an idiot. You shouldn't have it like that. You should turn it on its side. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, so we've got the Holmes Hobbies Polar Pro turned up for it. I don't know if I mentioned that. can't remember if I mentioned that. But that's censored 2200 KV. So... It said on the box, and it scared me after I got it, it said, you know, like about 3S is what it was, where it was at, but I ran 6S for three hours in it, and no dramas there. It's all about your gearing. If you're new to the hobby, don't go do that. Um, this has been programmed, and is the ESC is nowhere near where it was stock, so you want to put a stock setup in and 6S and a motor like this in, uh, good luck. And uh, goodbye drive train and goodbye gears. Anyway, enough on that, guys. That'll, that'll probably cover it today. So don't forget, RCA 5 off on Proline 38 Badlands at Mild to Wild for the next two weeks, guys. Hope that helps uh, some of you out. And, uh, well, until the next time, Matty out, RC Anonymous.